Hi, this is Mr. Goma, and this is my video on how to draw Lewis dot diagrams for molecules that have double and triple bonds. Now, double bonds are when you have two shared pairs of electrons between the same two atoms, and triple bonds are when you have three shared pairs of electrons between the same two atoms. And they're indicated with two lines kind of looking like an equals mark for a double bond. So these are all double bonds here and three lines going across between the two atoms for a triple bond. A single bond, those are bonds where you just have one shared pair. That looks like where just one line is between the same two atoms. Now, if you watched my first video on how to make or how to draw Lewis dot diagrams for molecules, you'll notice I have the same rules for how to draw Lewis dot diagrams for molecules that have double and triple bonds. So we'll see how to apply them in a double or triple bond scenario. Let's start with the molecule N2, which is nitrogen. So just like before, we want to draw the Lewis diagram for the central atom in the molecule. If you only have two atoms in the molecule, you're not really going to have a central atom, but we still have to pick one to draw first, so we'll just draw one nitrogen atom first. And just like before, we have to find nitrogen on the periodic table, and notice it has five valence electrons because it's in group 15. So we'll draw a nitrogen atom, and it's gonna have five valence electrons. Five valence electrons there. And now of course we have to draw a second nitrogen atom uh, because it's N2, not just N. So we'll draw it over here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're gonna do the same step that we did before. Um, which is going to be to pair up single electrons on two different atoms to make a bond. One thing you might have noticed was different is that nitrogen has three bonding sites, but we only have one other atom to bond with. So let's just see how this is going to play out. So we're going to pair up single electrons on two different atoms to make a bond. Well, notice we've got single electrons there. So these two electrons can be shared between the two nitrogens. But notice we have other single electrons that are unpaired, and we can pair those up to make a bond as well. It doesn't matter that they're not right next to each other. All that it matters is that each atom has a single electron and they can be shared. And notice, there's also two electrons, one over here and one over here, and they can be shared as well to make a bond. And right here, I'm just showing what's getting paired up. I'm not actually showing that the bond is gonna be like this. Okay, so now we're ready to redraw, replacing the two dots of the bonding pairs with a line. But actually, before we get to that, I wanna just show what's going on here. So I'm gonna redraw this with three pairs of electrons in between the two nitrogens. So let's draw that right down here. So I'm gonna draw this first pair like this, second pair, third pair, and then the nitrogen, all right? Don't forget that each nitrogen also has a lone pair. By convention, we put them on the opposite side of where the bonds are. So I'm just gonna move these over here. Now let's take a look. Remember, you've gotta to get to eight total electrons around your atom for it to be stable. And if we look into pairs, we've got one pair of electrons, two pairs of electrons, three pairs of electrons in the bond, and one pair of electrons in the lone pair, well, two, four, six, eight. And I could also just look at it like here, right? Two, four, six, eight. And that's gonna tell me that this nitrogen is gonna be satisfied now because it satisfies the octet rule with eight electrons around it. Same thing with this nitrogen. Remember, the shared electrons get to count for each atom in the bond. All right, so we can replace the two dots in the bonding pair with a line but notice, we've got three bonding pairs, so that's gonna be three lines. It's gonna look like an equal sign with one extra line in the middle. So nitrogen triple bonded to another nitrogen with the lone pairs on the opposite sides. So there we go. We just drew a Lewis dot diagram for the N2 molecule. Let's go ahead and do another one. This one is gonna be carbon dioxide. All right. So, draw the Lewis dot diagram for the central atom in the molecule. Well, since now we have two different atoms, we've got to pick one of them to be the central. Of course, it's going to be the carbon because it's the first one. 
All right, carbon has four valence electrons. It's in group 14. So let's draw a carbon here. One, two, three, four. And now oxygen, I'm gonna to have to draw two oxygen atoms and each oxygen atom is gonna have six valence electrons because oxygen's in group 16. All right, so let's do oxygen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another oxygen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's start pairing up some electrons to make bonds. Let's take a look at these two right here. They're going to pair up and make a bond. They can be shared. And look at this. We still have, uh, actually, well, let's go over here. Let's uh, look at these. These can be shared as well. And if we do a single bond between the carbon atom and each of these separate oxygen atoms, you notice we still have leftover electrons. Luckily for us, there's one leftover electron on each oxygen and two leftover electrons on the central carbon atom. So we can make extra bonds here. There we go. So now all the electrons will be paired up. All right, so let's replace the shared pair of electrons, the two dots, with a line to represent the bond here. So we're gonna have oxygen and then double bonded to carbon with a double bond over here to this oxygen. So notice here, two pairs here, so two lines, two pairs here, two lines right here. That takes care of all of carbon's electrons because it had four single electrons that made four bonds and they got formed into two double bonds. And now we have the two lone pairs left on the oxygen. We can do them like this. And there we go. That's the Lewis dot diagram for CO2, which is carbon dioxide. Well, with this experience here, I think you've got good practice with a couple of different molecules. One triple bonded molecule, the N2, one double bonded molecule, the CO2, and you should be good to go for all kinds of atoms that have double and triple bonds. Good luck.